Okay, I am renewed. This is Thor with the Game Design Lexicon. We're currently playing Wasteland, A Tale of Two Wastelands. Oh, wait a second, what did I say? We are currently playing Fallout. I should have said we are playing Wasteland, A Tale of Two Fallouts. But we are playing Fallout, A Tale of Two Wastelands, which is Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, both in the same engine. And why can't I go in here? This is... Confuse. I are so confused. So, I hit this button here, and it just kind of went around, around, around. And I'm guessing it has something to do with these buttons here. Maybe. Oh, there's a guy over here just kind of standing there. Maybe I'll shoot him. Oh shit, there's like a whole group of them down there. What are they doing? Oh, 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 shooting at me. That's what they're doing. What do these do? That, like, makes the ship all shaky. Hmm. Interesting. So, I guess we'll go back downstairs and kill all those guys that are just waiting for me down there. I don't know what the... Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, maybe they'll be coming up here. Who the hell knows? Uh, boink, boink. Oh, shit, what the hell? I can't hit him yet? Okay, fine. Excuse me. Thank you. Hello, torso. Do 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 do. So, I'm guessing I probably need to look for extra switches I didn't see. So now we're down near the bottom here, where everyone was um, joining. I don't know, like lining up for something. There's all sorts of dust down here. I don't remember shooting a bunch of guys down here. But there's obviously a bunch of dead things. And they haven't been looted, so... Oh my god. Was it because I activated those stupid things and it just killed everybody? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh. And of course I'm weighed down again. God damn it. I can't move. Oh shit. I guess I should have stood still. Hey you. How's it going? No. Nope. Not well. Oh Jesus. What are these guys doing? Where'd you come from? What the hell even are you? Boop! Oh this guy has a shield or something. Oh shit. Shit's going south pretty quick, dude. Maybe I shouldn't have went down here. Oh, 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 I don't remember when the last time I saved my game was. Oh no. Not at a good place. Okay. Well, let's try this level again, I guess. <laughs> okay, so... And this time we'll do a little quick saving. Mm. Yeah, man, I, I don't think I've bought cheap bread in a good while. Um, when I actually do buy bread, but it, to be fair, it's been a long time since I've actually bought just bread, bread. And recently I've been trying to eat a little bit more healthy, so trying not to, to do the bread thing as often. Doing more like uh, salads and proteins. What is all this? Is this supposed to be something important? It looks important. But then again, a lot of shit around here looks important, but it doesn't do anything. So there's Mr. Dust off. Hmm. 
Okay. So, no idea. But, let's hit this thing again, because it seemed to have really pissed them off. This is DLC. So this was DLC with the original uh, with the original Fallout 3 game. It's called um, something something Zeta Spaceship Zeta. Oh, well, here they come. <laughs> Every so often you'll hear one go Ree! Yeah, it was a pretty expansive uh, DLC too. I mean, the idea is that it uh, you know it added a whole new area to the game, and. Um, to get there, you had to find an alien spaceship that was just kind of hanging out. Oh, where the hell did that come from? Dude, I must be killing dozens of them. It. Oh, shit. What the hell, dude? Well, at least I got the support drone. Hey, the door finally opened. What the hell? There's still dudes down there. Hmm. Well, I didn't do as bad this time. But at least that door is open now, so I guess I'm good. Oh yeah, dude. That's my that's my kryptonite lately, man. That one place I cannot stay away from. I just keep, I go there like once a week now. It's just fucking ridiculous. Okay, well I guess we will blow this one up now. Um, how do you turn this one on? Do you not have, uh, good Cajun food restaurants in your area of the world? I know, uh, where I moved from, we didn't have them. Uh, where I moved from, they didn't have good Cajun restaurants at all. Uh, we had one, but it was, you know, one of the bad things about living in the landlocked area like that. Yeah. When you live in a landlocked area like that, it's uh, hard to find places with reliable fish. What the hell, dude? I wonder if I should go back down there and um, get all the treasure that I lost. Yeah, I'm really reluctant, though, because I got so much shit as it is. Yeah, I mean, truly the only place to get real good Cajun food is living near the Gulf. If you don't live near the Gulf, you're kind of shit out of luck. Okay, what about this one? Does that do it? Oh no, that just turns the door back on. Huh. Well, how do I turn that gate on? 
Is there an activation thing around here? No. Oh, wait, wait, what was that? What was that? Search alien. I don't see any alien there. God damn it, there's a button here somewhere and I'm missing it. Do, 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 Hmm, I guess I could just go back the normal way. Not gonna, I'm not gonna hurt that, huh? Yeah, now with restaurants, uh, even even if you do have good seafood restaurants and you're landlocked, uh, it's and I've gotten to the point where I don't even trust it. Like there was a there was a Thai food restaurant that we used to have in um, where I used to live in Utah that was really good. It had really good Thai food, and one of my favorite dishes there was a dish called sweet and sour tilapia, and you know it's supposed to be of course tilapia, but you read articles and it talks about how. A lot of these places, they um, they pretty much substitute any white fish for white fish in places like that because of the scarcity and the and the health hazards and all sorts of stuff with that that you know that specific type of product. Nope, that weighed me down. That did it to me. That's all it took. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess I'll just. Uh, Yeah, I know I'm over encumbered, damn it. Goddamn shock batons, dude. What the fuck is it cautioning me for? And, um, does this alien ship, like, have anything important? No. It just looks neat. Fine. Yeah, no reason, I guess, to loot all these dead bodies, since they're probably just carrying weapons that I already have that I'm just, like, constantly repairing. Yeah, having a good sushi place. One of the cool things about a lot of uh, supermarkets is they're now starting to have an, uh, a decent amount of like uh, quality sushi. Like we have a place called HEB here, which um, has uh, some really good sushi at it. And hell, even the even the Kroger that we have here, which is a little bit lower class than HEB, has decent sushi. I mean, it's not like super great sushi. Oh god damn! What the hell, dude? Why were all those weapons sitting at the front of this place? Dropping off some crap we don't need. Um. Oh, like all these fucking shock batons. Okay. Now, what are you guys doing? Well, that was weird. Holy shit, dude. What the hell how happened here? There's like a billion dead alien bodies. Okay, where's the medical person? Hey, you. Hurry up, taking out that last generator. If you Can you make me some more gel? Sure. You Thank you. Hey there, what'd you need? I don't know. Um. Can you tell me more about where you're from? He looks like a Japanese samurai. Guess the aliens must have plucked him from Earth a long time ago. I can't understand a word he's saying. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Okay, tell me if you need medical assistance. Okay, Elliot. 
So let's figure out where we need to go from here. So we're back to this little construction area again, but like I said, I don't really think that's the way to go. Because we can't get there from there. Well, shit. So I don't really know where to go now. <sighs> so this takes us to maintenance level. And I don't think that's where we need to go. Engine room. And I'm pretty sure we've already blown up that. Yeah. So let's... Um, Let's head north to, like, the decompression room and shit. I don't think we've gone into some of these places here. Airlock to decompression chamber. Look at all this. Dude. This place is looking, like... Like, really, like, shabby. Ooh, what's this? Buff out? Hell yeah, dude. Okay. Aliens have sealed the airlock door. Well, wunderbar. So, can't go in the decompression chamber. How about the observation deck or the bridge or any of those? Teleporters powered down. So that kind of peters out that idea. Rad score poison, poison gland. What the hell is that doing here? What is all this stuff doing here? But I'm going to take it anyway. Not that I really need to take more shit. Ooh, a power fist. Okay. So. Um, hey guys. Tell me how it all ends up? You know, what happens down there? I don't know. All I heard was that one side or the other started dropping bombs, and it just all went to shit. Ugh. Oh shit, a Nuka Cola machine. Holy crap. Oh, and of course now I'm weighed down. What are all these landmines over here, dude? Seriously? Oh man, I'm so weighed down now. Hey man, you got anything good to say? Generator to blow up. Figure you should be off doing that instead of. I'm trying. Jesus, dude, don't hassle me. Okay, so. Boom. Oh, this other armor's already repaired. Shit, dude. I guess we can repair some more atomizers. There we go. Still really fucking weighed down. Oh my god, it's just getting worse. So let's, uh, where's one of these boxes here? Okay. Yeah, I don't think we need these four alien atomizers. Or even that one there. Drone cannon. Holy shit, that's heavy. I'm gone. Frag mine. Oh my god, these frag grenades are kind of weighty. Maybe I should be using more of them. Nah, let's just drop some. That'll help us a little. Oh my god, dude, I'm so weighed down. Let's see, let's get rid of that crappy suit of leather armor. Oh, there we go. Hey, Mr. Samurai dude, how you doing? So, okay then? Microfusion cells. This place has some neat stuff in it. Do a couple missiles. Oh, hey girl. Girlfriend. So, this was the airlock decompression chamber, which is sealed off. This way? Maybe? 
Steamworks. You make makes you wonder why aliens would need steamworks. And it looks like I've been here. We got dead aliens everywhere. Dead looted aliens, which means we've definitely been here. Hmm. Dude, I'm like reluctant to pick up anything at this point. Excuse me. Alien. Um, actually, let's check map. Let's check map here. So we got all this area, which is, yeah, I don't want to go all the way back there. Nope. That is a noper. Let's go back. Yeah, that's a MacGuffin. We're definitely not going that way. Because I'm pretty sure we came from this way. So what else do we have? Steamworks, decompression chamber, observation deck, and the bridge. Question is, how do we get to the observation deck or the bridge? Accessible. Is this the two places that I'm looking to be going into? Yeah. So can't go into those. Well, at least we're eliminating all possibilities here. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so back up here. Hey girl, how's it going? So now where it says we need to go is over here. However, I could not find... Okay, fuck it, let's go check it again. There's obviously where something we're missing. And it's driving me farkin' nuts! Just for good measure. it up. Come on. No, no, no. And I'm fairly certain that up there is where I need to be. But there's something up there that I'm missing. And I guess the question is, how do I get up there? I mean, there's a lot of shit I could climb on, I guess. These little containers are sealed off. These are where all the guard robots came out of. That's... shit, we've been in there a billion times, but let's wait on that. No. Let me just come 
from here? God damn it. How do we go around in a circle? So, this way, this way. Robot, robot, that. Okay, that's how we went around in a circle. So we can't activate that control. That's the door we need to go in. And I don't see a switch for it anywhere. Except, uh, what is this? Oh shit, there's a turret around here that I missed. Oh, there he is. So. this up. Give me a sec here. This is pissing me off. Um, Fallout 3, Zeta, um, walkthrough. And what part are we in? We're in the robot construction part. Okay, let's see. Not of this world, among the stars. There we go. Let's see. Release the humans from stasis. Destroy the generator in the robot assembly. Number five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Part five. Let's see. D -d -d generator that powers the robot assembly plan. If you're following the walkthrough, you've now destroyed two of the th generators. And even if you're not following the walkthrough to a T, you must have destroyed at least one. So you should know how to do this by now. Turn on the machine, activate the... No, 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 no. No, we haven't gotten there yet. So this is going a little too far here. So where is it? Part 4. Next up is the robot assembly area. If your back is facing, try Go back, center, or final door leading the area. As soon as you enter, you won't run into any enemies immediately. Let's see. Once down the stairs, the path will bring you to a linear direction forward and then swing rightward where you again lead forward. All the rooms in this path, which will be filled with broken teleportation devices. Um, you'll run into plenty of robotic enemies. Let's see. Guardian drones. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, thankfully, they are relatively weak. Yep, they are. Okay, from the location of the container, head through the door and work your way to yet another area of the robot assembly. A glass contained conveyor belt we saw earlier continues to run through this room and you'll find more ro robotic resistance that we have. Do, do, do. There's not much else to find here. There are two things of importance that you need to explore, however. As you move forward through the room, parallel to the conveyor belt, you'll see a switch on your left. Hit this switch, it activates a nearby teleporter that you'll use in a while. Then continue forward until you reach control panel on an enclosed part of the conveyor belt. Examine it and set it to detonate. Hmm. Yeah, that's a negatory. I haven't seen that. I swear to God I haven't seen that. Okay, well, so we're in that area, which I think um, you come out here into the other area with the with the conveyor belt. And I said something about a switch being somewhere. Which I'm not finding, but then again, the way this fucking thing looks, anything could be a goddamn switch in this place. And I hope it's not talking about this one here that I can't activate because I don't have proper science skill. If that's it, fungu, dude, I can't... Oh, wait a second. What the hell? Okay, so I must have found something and opened it, because now it's open. This is weird. Teleport to Matrix, Matrix Robot Assembly. So this is what we're missing. I don't know how why it's open now, 
but it wasn't open before. Oh, wait a sec. This is... Oh, okay, cool. This is where we needed to be. Do 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 so I got another break coming up. My stomach's getting a little upset. Just kind of sucks. But then again, it hasn't been right for the last few days. Let's see, yesterday I had torchies, I had a burrito, and I ate all their Diablo sauce, which normally doesn't upset my stomach, but maybe it did this time. Who knows? Okay. Yeah, this is the place I was trying to jump up onto. No, that's negatory. So let's this way. So I should be finding that area pretty soon that I, uh... Oh, god damn it, really? That was quick. Um, oh my god, dude, really? It's like a billion of these fucking weapons. I guess that is a break. So let's go ahead and take a short break here, and uh, we'll be back with some more Fallout of Tale of Two Wastelands. This is Thorn with the Game Design Lexicon. If you do like what you're watching here, give us a follow down below here on Twitch. Or if you like to watch this content afterwards, you can catch it on our YouTube channel, uh, which we which we usually air anywhere between eh, a week to a month after we air it here. But of course, you don't get the live music, and you're always welcome to join us on our discord where we discuss what games we're going to play next and uh all the all the other stuff anyway be back shortly <laughs> 